So today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to theme Windows 10 to Mac OS Big Sur. So this is the look. It's a clean minimalistic look from Big Sur. All right, let's get started. So I've got a few links here. I'm going to be putting it down in the description. So but you can also search it up in Google if you want fairly easy so bear with me so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to this link skin pack get our skin pack so I'm gonna paste it up yes this one skinpacks.com and once we're there we're just gonna scroll down scroll down there are a lot of themes in here but for this video, I'm going to focus on Mac OS Big Sur at this look. So there are actually two versions of this skin pack, which is the dark version and the light version. So for this tutorial, I'm going to go with the white. But the thing is with the white one, it's kind of hard to read with all the graying of the font. So if you're having a hard time reading your font and screen, I'd recommend you go with the dark but for this video I'm gonna go with white alright click this up and it should take you here a little preview of this now the thing with this skin pack is it doesn't come with the icons so you only get the theming of the white borders and all that stuff and it doesn't come with this Mac bar at the top and these dock so I think we can do a little bit of well some things to get get ahead of that so as you can see here download the light version for free but it has no icon and the extra stuff here but we're just gonna go and click that up open link in new tab or just click it and it should take you to the download section skip and download Mac OS Big Sur pack yeah so we're gonna click this one and it should download immediately and I uh, I already have it downloaded this is the one Mac OS Big Sur and since this one doesn't have an icon First, we're gonna get those icons for these icon types. So, if you scroll up here at the skin packs page, you should see some. The. Yes, this one. WinOS skin pack for Windows 10. Just click this up, and it should give you similar style of icons to that Mac OS Big Sur skin pack so we're gonna also download this just to get the icon packs similar to that alright just visit the download page and just download the light version if you want a full version but just download the light version open the new tab or just click it and skip and download click this and it should download immediately I already have it downloaded here the skin pack winOS dot sfx dot exe so before anything else I'd like to highlight that Windows actually recognizes these to these skin packs as viruses but in my experience there have been there haven't been any sort of ransomware attack or any of those viruses things that's been going on. according to skin packs it's just and the ads baked into the installer so and Windows recognizes it as a threat so before you try to install this we're gonna go and disable our protection and we're gonna click a protection I'm gonna turn it off and 
Some of you might have different antiviruses installed, so just search it up online how to turn off your um, installed antivirus on your computer. Alright, so we've got that turned off. The next thing we want to do is we're going to first install the Windows OS SFX.exe. So we're going to open it, open it up. So it's going to be, this is going to pop up. You know, click more info and run anyway. So the default password is skin skinpacks.com. Yep. So we're going to extract it and it should be here. Yep. And we're going to open it up. Yes. I should have packing data. And this is the installer part. All right. We're going to go next. I accept. <clears throat> and we want to do the icons only. So we're going to uncheck the UX theme and the theme. So we're going to install it. The icons only. Remember, this is an important step. Install. Icons only. So it's going to install the icon packs. It's going to flicker the screen, all that. Just wait it up. And, yep. After some time, it'll install. And, yeah, as you can see, this recycle bin icon has been changed. The notepad icon changed. And, when you open up Explorer, yep, it changed the icons and links and all that. Now that's done. We're going to click next. And we're going to click finish. Now that we've installed the icons, we're going to uninstall it. Because if we aren't going to uninstall it, the macOS Big Sur installer won't install. So where is it? Yes, this one. Skin Pack OS. We're going to uninstall it. But only clicking the... the no the remove uninstaller and backup files this is what we're only gonna uninstall because the mac os um, big sur skin pack will detect this so we're gonna uninstall this leaving the icons behind you selected yes click the yes button should pop up click next and you're done so that's the first part we've got the icons and all of that now for the macOS Big Sur pack. So this is the macOS Big Sur, which we've downloaded previously. We're gonna open it up and it should prompt you to put the password, which is default skin packs, skin packs .com. Click OK, just extract it. And it should pop up right here. This one. We're gonna open it up. Click yes. And just ignore this for a bit. Alright, click next. I accept. And what we're gonna do, just leave this three checked install. And in, in a short while, the, the screen should flicker and it should finish. It's going to be patching the system. A lot of, a lot of it is going to change. Just wait for it a bit. And when after this is done, we are gonna start our computer. So as you can see, the overall theme has changed, but not yet. We're gonna restart our computer or reboot our computer. So select this, reboot. And if you have any sort of files open up that you need to be saving, just save it up. And we're gonna click 
Reboot Now. Once you're done rebooting, the settings menu, the settings page should pop up and it will take you here and a little dialogue from the CMD, the command prompt, something like this should appear. Just leave it behind. Just leave this. Don't try to change the things in here. Just close it up. And as you can see, the overall look of Windows should change drastically like the Mac OS Big Sur. But we still have a lot of things to do. So the next part that we're going to do is the Mac type. So Mac type is a type of application that allows you to change the overall font of Windows. So we're going to click that, click OK, and next, I accept, and next, 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 and next, and install. And this should pop up. Yes, we're going to click yes. Just close the notes change log. This should pop up. And registry mode should be on. Just click this. Click next. It'll load up start preview. And you can try different fonts in here, but the the default for me is in the I'll go with uh, the clean soft for me but you can try other fonts in here and it should change the overall look of Windows so I'm gonna click clean soft and finish click OK and that's done I'm just gonna leave that behind and once you close it up, this up and open it back up, you can see that the fonts change or, yep. And the next part that we're gonna do is the start menu, the taskbar and the start menu. So we're gonna click start is back plus plus I'm gonna click install for me and the screen should flicker and all that and we're gonna configure start us back and what we have here is some settings to change all that stuff we're only gonna be clicking the we're gonna change this use custom taskbar coloring and we're gonna set it to clear and we're gonna put it to zero and we're gonna apply and as you can see our taskbar transparency has gone up so the thing is, this one is black, so we're gonna change the color of our taskbar by click right-clicking the taskbar and clicking taskbar settings, and we're gonna. Oh, it's in the colors page. So once you've clicked that, go to the colors page right here, this tab, and we are going to set. Choose, you're gonna set choose your color to custom so we're gonna set our default window mode to dark so the icons here and all of that stuff goes to white now we're gonna close that we're gonna go back to start is back configuration and we're gonna click customize taskbar perks where then click centered task icons and dynamic transparency okay 
and if you want but if you want to well whenever you have an application on and you want the taskbar to look um, acrylic and you can set it up to acrylic here if you want so I'm gonna set it to acrylic and apply so once I open up an application like the file explorer it should go darker and go acrylic like that as you can see now how do you set that back if you want to change the configuration you gotta click the right click the task uh, start and click properties and the start is back configuration should pop up okay if you want to tweak some things in here make your setup unique you can set it here all right so start is back comes with a 30-day trial if you want to purchase this you can to support the developer but you can still uninstall this later on and install it back if you need all right so we got all of that back now what we're if you want you can change the start button using the um orb design that I've, I've got here you're gonna copy that and let's go to chrome I'm gonna paste it and there we have we're gonna I'm gonna download it but I've already downloaded it so it's in my document downloads folder um, it should be here yes this one the modern buttons all right I'm gonna copy it here to make it easier to look at modern bot button style if you have a large taskbar click the large if you have a small one click small so how do I apply it we're gonna right click again the start button click properties click appearance tab and you see this green plus button here click it and find the location of that folder so I have a small taskbar I'm gonna click small and click the light one this light open and we're gonna apply it I, I mean you should click this one also the start one click this and apply and it should start up here as you, as you can see it's still not um, optimize it but once you restart your computer it should adjust its spacing and overall like that and now that's done and and I think that covers the overall process and all right guys thanks for watching if you like the video click the thumbs up if you like more videos sooner click subscribe and if you like to comment down below any of your thoughts i'd like to hear them all right thanks